There's been a lot of talk on social media about injectable medications that help you lose weight. One newer medication that is similar to semaglutide is ZepBound. Here's what you need to know if you've been prescribed this medication. ZepBound acts like two naturally occurring hormones in the body, glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, or GIP, and glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1. These hormones are typically released by the gut, and they play a role in appetite and digestion. By acting like these hormones, ZepBound may help you feel more full and less hungry. ZepBound is an injection that you use once a week, on the same day each week. You can use it with or without food. You'll start with a low dose, and then you'll increase your dose over the course of several months to help limit side effects. The injection goes right under the skin, so it's not as deep as most vaccines. You can inject it into the thigh, lower stomach, or upper arm, and you should choose a different area each time to reduce irritation. Your care team will train you on how to self-inject ZepBound. This medication comes in an easy to use, single dose, pre-filled pen. When you're ready to inject, you'll pull off the gray base cap. Place the clear base against your skin at the injection site, and then unlock the pen by turning the lock ring. Press the base against your skin and hold the injection button for several seconds. You should hear a click, which means the injection has started. You'll know the injection is complete when you hear a second click and when the gray plunger is visible in the pen. Make sure to dispose of the used pen in a sharps container right away. ZepBound isn't right for everyone. You may be eligible if you have a body mass index of 30 or more, or if your BMI is at least 27 and you also have a weight-related condition. You'll need to store your unused ZepBound pens in the fridge, not the freezer, and in their original container to protect them from light. Both your prescriber and your pharmacist can go over side effects that you may or may not experience. These may include nausea, diarrhea, low appetite, vomiting, upset stomach, constipation, and stomach pain. Don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist or prescriber about affordability. These days, there are many low-cost ways to get your medication.